ಹಲೋ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಕಥಾಯಾನಾಸ್ ಪಂಚತಂತ್ರ ಯಾನಾಸ್ ಮಿತ್ರ ಭೇದ ಸೆಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ವಿ ಸೋ ದಟ್ ದ ಜಾಕಲ್ ದಮನಕ ಅಡ್ವೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಲಾಯನ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪಿಂಗಾಲಕ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಫಿಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಮಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀನ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಬಿಹೇವಿಂಗ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಥಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲೆಶ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಐ ವೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ but only to find that it was made of wooden skin and when pingalaka asked him what he was talking about damanaka began telling him a story he said your majesty once there lived a jackal by name gomayu once he was dying of hunger and so he went hunting in the forest as he went hunting he came near a battlefield the battlefield was empty there was no one the battle was over but then suddenly he heard a sound a very strange sound which he had not heard before he heard it once twice thrice and he began shivering he thought to himself oh oh no no what is this i think my life is in danger i am gone what creature is this making this kind of a sound now thinking so he stayed there for a while heard that sound for some more time and then mustered some courage to find out where that sound was coming from and he went in that direction and then he saw that in a corner there was a war drum as the wind blew and the grasses swayed and touched the surface of the drum the drum made a sound when the twigs fell down from the branches of the trees on the surface it made a sound then this gomayu started thinking oh is this the one making such a noise uh, such a sound but what is this what creature is this it is standing still it is not at all moving i think it is some helpless creature yeah i think it is my food oh ho look at it how stout and so fleshy uh, if it is so i am going to have a very hearty meal i haven't seen such a food since a long time he thought and he went near it he went there and began tearing the outer leather and went inside only to see that there was no meat there was no flesh it was only made of some wood and some dry skin and he had to remain hungry that day too that is why dear king i am telling you you don't have to fear for such a mere strange sound no 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 to that pingalaka said but damanaka see all my followers all my subjects are also frightened listening to that sound they also want to leave the forest what do i do to that damanaka said your majesty your people are fearing because you are fearing after all don't they look up to you for everything your majesty please listen to me you don't have to worry you please stay here i will go find out the source of the sound and come and tell you what it is and you do as you wish and pingalaka asked him if he was sure to go and do that job and so damanaka very humbly said your majesty if you permit me to go there and find out i will be of some service to you and so pingalaka being impressed by his humbleness and uh, his passion towards his service for him he granted him permission and off went damanaka in search of the source of that sound when damanaka went in search of that sound pingalaka became a little worried he got anxious and he began thinking hey wait did i do the right thing by telling this jackal everything should i have trusted him i have heard that he is corrupt minded what if he is trying to play games with me what if he is trying to make that creature come and kill me i have heard my elders tell me many a times that a weak person never gets trapped by strong people if he trusts nobody but a strong person can be trapped easily by weak people if he trusts them and so thinking anxiously he waited there for damanaka to come back on the other side damanaka in search of the uh, source of the sound went and found that 
Sanjeevaka was standing there at the top of the hill. And looking at Sanjeevaka, he became really happy. He thought, hey, hey, it is just a bull, not some fierce animal that we were thinking it could be. And now, this is such a good thing, isn't it? With this, now I can get Pingalaka into my power by suggesting him either war or peace with this bull. See, a healthy person does not need a doctor. Similarly, an unworried king does not need his ministers. So, I have to create such a plot that will make Pingalaka always want me by his side. He would always need my counselling, my advice. Mm. Thinking so, he went back to Pingalaka. And when Pingalaka saw Damanaka coming, he said, Oh, Damanaka, come, come, come. Have you been able to see that creature? I hope you don't lie to me. Huh? To that Damanaka said, Your Majesty, yes, very much I saw the creature. And no, 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 I am not lying. Manu in Dharma Shastra has said that all gods reside in a king. And if one person lies to a king, he is sure to be destroyed. Hmm. Dear king, I saw the creature. He is not any fierce animal as we were thinking it to be. It is a poor and harmless animal. If you permit me, I may go and bring him here to uh, make him your servant. Pingalaka was so happy listening to that and he said, Oh, Damanaka, what are you telling? Well, I see that you are capable of doing this. From this moment onwards, you are my minister. I appoint you as my minister. Go, get him here to me. Damanaka went to Sanjeevaka and spoke to him in an authoritative tone. Hey, you bull, come. Our king Pingalaka wants you before him. Why do you keep making such sound every day? To that Sanjeevaka asked, uh, but dear sir, uh, who are you and who is uh, this King Pingalaka? To that Damanaka said, Oh, don't you know him? Well, you will soon know him. But for now, just understand this. He is the lord of all the lords in this forest. And all the creatures and animals in this forest are his faithful subjects. He never lets anyone down. To that Sanjeevaka said, Oh, that's so nice. You speak so well of your king. If you have come to take me to him, uh, please request him to give me a safe shelter. To that, Damanaka said, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you are very much right in thinking that only a great king can make you feel safe. Wait, wait here. I will come back and take you with me. Saying so, Damanaka ran to Pingalaka and said, your majesty, your majesty, you won't believe this. That animal that I saw is not an ordinary one. He is none other than Lord Shiva's vehicle, Nandi the bull. He said that Lord Shiva himself sent him down here to feed upon the exotic grass that is growing on the river banks of Yamuna. Listening to that, Pingalaka, so astonished, said, No wonder. No wonder who else than the God's own creature can make such a great sound in this fearsome forest. What else did he say? Damanaka said, Your Majesty, I told him that he is now living in a forest ruled by King Pingalaka who is equal to God, Goddess Chandi's vehicle. And so it would be appropriate for him to be your guest. And in all brotherly and friendly love, he could stay, eat and sleep here with us. To all of this, he has agreed and he only requires your consent. Pingalaka knew no bounds, his joy knew no bounds. He said, ah, Damanaka, my intelligent man, what a right thing you have done. Even I would have done the same thing. A kingdom flourishes when it has well-qualified ministers like you. I am so happy with you. Go, go, go tell him that I have given him my consent and bring him here. And so Damanaka went to Sanjeevaka and he said to him again, Hey, bull, listen, 
The king was very happy. He was in a happy mood when I spoke to him. I put forth your request and he has agreed. He has given you the permission. You can come with me now. But listen, do not become proud of what you're going to get there. You have to be humble with me. You have to behave humbly with me and do as I tell you to do. I have been made a minister and if we both work together, we can enjoy royal affluence. Listen, the one who enjoys adulations and respect from a king and becomes so proud of himself that he does not listen to anyone rich or poor, big or small, he is destined to be corrupted like Dantila. Sanjivaka asked, Oh, uh, who is this Dantila and what is the story of him being corrupted? He asked. And to that, the jackal Damanaka began narrating Sanjivaka the story. That story in the next video of Kathayana's Panchatantrayana's Mitra Beda segment. This is Lakshmi. I will see you there. Thank you.